Happy birthday, handsome. I don't want anything from you. Oh, mummy been telling tales, has she? What the hell are you talking about? Look, it's just a friendly gesture, a peace offering. Why don't we have a couple of drinks inside, eh? I said no. I don't want you or your present. Well, I don't see any other hot women queuing up to have a drink with you. Come on, then. So, is there anything special you want for your birthday? Um... Oh, this is so embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. She's a peeping tall. I'll leave you two lovebirds to it. Leanne. Leanne, it's New Year's Eve. We're just having a bit of fun. Don't play your face about it just because you're embarrassed. I'm not. Happy New Year. Are you jealous or something? Tracy, I am a happily married woman. My days of jumping on board the first fellow who loved me are well over. I don't like your tone, Batsby. It's Barlow, actually. Uh, no. As long as you're living under my roof, you'll always be by be scum. Oh, your standards are dropping, Nick, badly. Happy birthday. What is her problem? Where were we? I've got stuff to do. I know. Me. Moments passed. Soon we'll not get a table. Well, you two go ahead. Our tables are like gold dust. I hate standing up on New Year's Eve. Anybody would think we're going to Caesar's Palace, not Rover's return. Eddie! Well, don't let me stop you. I'll follow you down. You sure? Oh, come on. I'm not begging. <sighs> hey, where you off to? Just this girl from church, Manda. Um, we won't be late. Oh, you will be back before midnight. Yeah, I would have thought so. Um, I'm sorry for I'm dragging you back from the pub. <sighs> go, if you're going. Go and have a nice time. See you in a bit, bud. Bye. <sighs> oh, dear, look at the state of you. <sighs> you forgotten something? Hiya. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You? Yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm not so brilliant. Look, I was, I was just thinking, you know, with Kev not being here at the moment... Uh-huh. ...whether you just wanted a chat, or maybe we could see in the New Year together. I mean, shoot me down if that's a dumb idea, because I'm, I'm not the best of company at the moment. Join the club. Stoop so low as to what were you? Desperate. That's a bit unfair. Well, it proves one thing at least. What's that? I'm not daft. I made the right decision. Hey, hold on a minute, Miss Holier than thou. You dumped me. You told me to go and meet someone else, so I did. I'm moving on. Well, there's moving on, and there's moving on to a psychiatric ward, Nick. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you. Let's get one thing straight, shall we? You are not hurting me. Got that? He'll turn up, I'm sure. He was getting his gel on when we left. I mean, don't put gel on your hair if you're not going out, do you? <sighs> Tell 
give us, like, gold dust on New Year's Eve. I hate having to stand. That's why you're lucky having your own chair. Oh, I think I might go home. New Year's is always a disappointment. Oh, he's coming. No, he's not, Anna. Oh, that's great. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> hey, love. Did you, uh, did you catch Nick? I did indeed. Listen, Peter, I've been thinking. Oh, too much of that makes you go mad. <laughs> You know that hotel that we like? The one with the two little baths, side by side, gorgeous little room? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I just phoned them up and they've had a cancellation. Oh, right. It's only an hour's drive away. OK. And Deirdre said she'd have Simon, didn't you, Deirdre? Of course. Are you sure about this? Look, I just want to get away, Peter, with my husband. Oh, right. I'll pack a man bag then. 3.2. <laughs> so. Simon's staying at Vala Hams tonight, isn't he? Yeah, he just needs picking up about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. No problem. Thanks. Hi, Leanne. Are you all right? Yeah, you? She's going on a romantic tryst with her husband. Boutique hotel, products to die for. I want your life. Right, get your glad rags on, sexy specs. What? Me and you are going on the pub. Ooh. You can come as well if you want, Dad. We're only going to the Rovers. To friends present. And friends absent. Hear him. I'm thoughtful. Uh, New Year is a time for reflection, isn't it? It is the mirror of all festivities. <laughs> and when I mention friends absent, I am, of course, referring to those who perished, tram crash wise. Uh, and those who managed to pull through it, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just think, Rita, had you not had a craving for some secret chocolates, you might have still been upstairs, and we would have been making the solemn pilgrimage to your graveside. Well, there's no need to be so morbid, Mary. Yeah, yeah. I can, can you say anything else? Yeah, it's rather annoying, Mrs Bishop. <laughs> Down in one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, here comes trouble. What? Oh, hi, Gail. How's tricks? Who do you think I am? Paul Daniels. Not sure you're welcome here. Oh, is that right? You've been made landlady now, Gail. I didn't realise you had the power to bar people. Deirdre. What? I don't see Steve here or Becky. No, and uh, Liz is in Spain, so I think that gives us an in. Come on, I'm buying. So are you sure it's all right if we're in here? Yeah. The more the merrier, I say. <laughs> you can go off people, you know, Sean. Oh, Gail. <laughs> I never knew you were on me. Anyways. So, who's got the raffle ticket? Because our lovely Tina, she's going to be bobbing around in the tombola any minute now, and I'd hate for any of you lot to miss out on the fun. <laughs> well, I have bought three books worth. Oh, why do you think we're here? <laughs> <laughs> He's just such a wonderful husband. So kind and gentle. And I love the voice to bits. I just feel a huge hole, really. Well, watch you don't fall in it. Well, some of us are trying to have fun, Claire. Do you remember that? I can't believe you lied to you, Mum. Panda from church. <laughs> oh, shut up, Necky drink. Cheers. <laughs> Fix it! Shut up, she's not fixed it. Right, OK, I'm sorry, I've put it back. Must be on a winning streak. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kieran, you pick the next one. Oh, Emily, you appear to have won. There's <laughs> some very racy smalls. What are they? Making it underworld these days. Okay, red ticket. Uh, six nine nine. Eddie Windows. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eddie, you've won a manicure and pedicure at Audrey. Oh no! You're all right, Audrey. I'll give it to the missus. Oh, Reggie, that's dead romantic. Can you imagine the size of his carbuncle? Keep your voice down, Mum. You're drunk. Right, go on, Sean. You pick the next one. Okay, the next prize, everyone, is oh, a free cut and colour at Claudia's salon in the precinct. Perm suspect. My reputation goes before me, obviously. <laughs> As what? <laughs> right, the green ticket. And the number is four, five, six. Audrey Roberts. Oh, for pity's sake, mother! First time you'll have a professional touch your bonnet, eh, Audrey? Audrey! Is it hair or is it a lampshade? I never can tell. Audrey! <laughs> I never know whether to talk to her or switch her on. <laughs> What's she like? 
Right then, next prize. Oh, and it's our lovely Lloyd, who has very kindly donated his chauffeur services for a whole day. Oh, oh isn't that lovely? Yeah. Oh, this is the one I want. Do you do extras? Oh, do you mind he's spoken for? Oh, sorry, love. I thought you were his daughter. <laughs> Come on, Karen, who's won the chauffeur drive? Uh, Chris Gray. Chris oh, Gray! Oh, you're gonna live in the lap of luxury now, aren't you? Uh, maybe you'll want to join me. Well, I'll have to turn the lap through first. Have you got a Blackberry? <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Just ignore him. Well, things must be very different from when Ernest and I worked then. That's not your colour, love. Emily woman. Aren't they saucy? <laughs> Do you mind moving away from me because you're actually making me feel a bit sick? Beg your pardon? Well, no offence. There's no need to be so nasty, Miss Barlow. Yeah, women like you don't scare women like me. Eh? Women? <sighs> Mary, Mary, just come, come and, and sit, sit down. down and, and have a drink. drink. Have a drink. We'll get Finish you a drink. drink. Yeah. No, turn round. Am I boring people? With my problems about Ashley? Ashley died three weeks ago, Claire. My uncle Billy died three years ago and I still bang on about him, so no, you are not boring people. Thanks. I take it Tracy made an appearance then. Hey, Nick. Fancy slipping out of here and heading over to the bookies? No. Well, come on, live a little. Let's put it another way. What happened before was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Let's pretend it never happened. Better look next time, Tracy. Do you want freak? No, I think a few low lights might just lift you a little. Um, sorry, Gail. I know I'm the last person you want to see right now. Only we've got unfinished business. Tracy. I slept with Nick earlier, you see, and, well, sorry, David, but he is twice the man you'll ever be. Because you know I've slept with him as well, but not at the same time, because, well, that would be weird. You know what, Tracy? Tracy, you're not a very nice person, are you? Popular with the men in your family, though, eh? What, baby? I don't condone violence against women. Oh, so PC. But if I stay here a second longer, I might just make an exception. Should we go? With pleasure. Yes, come on. I might just stay. No, oh, do what you like, Claudia. <laughs> Cheap, nasty. Yes, you are. Which is why there won't be any second helpings. Bye, babes. Watch you back, babes. See? Ten missed calls. Why don't you pick up? Texts, messages, Gary. Oh, sorry. Oh, for what? If I've ruined your night. Oh, you haven't. It's easy I feel sorry for her. <sighs> She's better off without me, Mum. Oh, don't say that. Why not? It's the truth, innit? Oh, Gary. Oh, don't. Hey, I'm your mum. I can give you a nut counter. I don't. I don't like people touching me. All right. So, am I going to get a New Year's snack tonight, then, or what? Oh, you don't want to kiss me. Why not? Because I'm a really rubbish kisser. <laughs> you don't blame me, do you? I don't know. Ugh, somebody's not had the tea. Oh, trouble's in town. Becky's in the back with Claire because Tracy's upset her again. You're joking! Steve, she's winding everyone up. Mary's fuming. Oh, she's not that bad. Red wine when you're ready, gay boy. <laughs> wow, Eileen, that blouse is so brave. Uh, you've got a short memory. What, gay boy? It was me that let you in here. Hey, Have I got a T-shirt on that says, please be homophobic towards me? Well, have I? Oh, just ignore her. She's not worth it. And I don't know how...